Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, hi, I'm Christine. I do upload every Wednesdays and Sundays, mostly makeup hauls, unboxings, and try on. So if these things interest you, just hit that subscribe button and while you're there, go ahead and like this video. Turn on your notification bell so that whenever I upload, you will be notified. In today's video will be Ulta haul and a little bit of a Sephora haul. And I did a Sephora VIB sale haul on my last video, so if you haven't checked that out, please do. Just a disclaimer, these are collective, so I didn't buy them in one go. Without further ado, let's begin. right here and okay before I proceed um, I did get the 20% off coupon and I did have some points accumulated so I just went ahead and used my points plus the 20% plus the sale so that really saved me a bunch of money for this bag right here these are all LA girl because I think at the time I went to the store these were on sale first thing in here is the LA girl setting spray set makeup for extended wear I've seen this before so this is new to me got the LA girl pro powder in high definition and this this is in the shade banana so it's just a yellow shade and I also got the LA girl pro face matte press powder in the shade nude beige I've already tried this before and I know it works and I know I like it so I just purchased a new one because my other one's all gone. I've also tried this before. LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer and this is in the shade Porcelain. I hope it works. I don't remember what shade I got last time when I got a concealer from them so we shall see. Then also another thing that I already tried before and I really liked it. Actually, I loved it. This is the LA Girl Pro Matte High Definition um, Foundation and I am the shade Soft Honey. You guys, if you haven't tried this already and if you and if you have oily skin, you really need to try it. Such a great 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 foundation. Like I love love it. Next one is the Volumatic Mascara and this is in the shade Black Brown. Claims to do that. It volumizes and, and lengthens your eyelashes. It's actually really fat and short. <laughs> this is fat and short. Let's look at the wand. Alright. So the wand is also fat and short. <laughs> the next thing in here is brow pomade. So this is in the shade dark brown. It looks kind of light but crossing my fingers this is the right shade for my brows because I always get dark brown on Anastasia and I also got the dark brown in the uh, Shop Miss A makeup haul so that also worked for me but looking at this picture Looking at the color, it looks very light, but hopefully that's just false advertisement. The last two in this bag is the High Definition Smoothing Face Primer. I don't know if this is the full size, to be honest. I think this is just a travel size, in my opinion, but I didn't see anything else there. This is the only one that I saw. This looks really small to me. <laughs> Actually, I lied. I have two more. Also got the LA Girl Blush Palette Island Hottie. And I actually did not get a an eyeshadow palette because I was just going to use this as my eyeshadow. Packaging looks really pretty. Whenever I go in the store and I see the LA Girl section, this is the very first thing that I notice because these are pretty, you guys. Like, look at that. There you go. So, but these are just like more on the peachy side. And the blushes 
like these two or these three right here are more on the shimmery side and this is the only matte one in this palette but I will give you a swatch so those are the swatches they're cute I like it I really like that darker one I promise this is the last one in this bag um this is the LA girl flat velvet lipstick and then this is in the shade spicy Oh god, that is really dark. I don't know if I like it. <laughs> so actually, that's the shade. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh god, it's on my nose. I really don't know how I feel about this. And it smells like um Play-Doh. I don't know. Can you see? It's a little bit darker than what shows on the tube. So that's why I thought this would be kind of like a reddish tone lipstick. Moving on to the next bag right here. So first thing in this bag is the e.l.f. Best of e.l.f. gift set. And it looks like this. So it comes with the highlighter bubbly makeup sponge, the poreless potty primer, and a gloss right here. The reason why I got this is because of the poreless putty primer I've heard so many great things about it so that's why I went ahead and grabbed it and I needed a new beauty blender so it's just a great set to have it's for $15 the value of this is $23 so that's a great deal actually it would be a really great gift set for Christmas here's what the primer looks like in here and I do have the um, Tatcha Silk Canvas, so I'm going to try and see if they even compare because the Tatcha one is like 50 something dollars, so. Okay, this one's a little bit less thick than the Tatcha, so I'm really curious to how this performs on my face. And the sponge sponge looks like so it feels soft um, the highlighter the jelly highlighter I've never tried a highlighter from LP <gasps> it's more on the watery side more liquidy I mean okay. this is what oh my god it's a little gritty but Not bad. It's cute. She's cute. She's cute. And then the last one in this set, which I'm not really gonna open. This is the Elf Lip Plumping Plumping Gloss. She's pretty though, but I'm not really a gloss person, so I'm just gonna put this in a giveaway. It does not have a shade name, so I'm just gonna put this in a giveaway. And then the next thing I got is this. Revolution Pro Blur Stick and I've already used this like twice or three times already um, First of all, this is huge. It looks like a deodorant And it is a twist off cap Looks like a deodorant <laughs> This has 1.06 ounces So it's a decent amount of product. I want to point out something is that when you do apply this on your face, you have to apply it directly. So you do it like this. And this thing is hard. Like, it hurts. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. But this product is hard. It's not soft at all. It's not like the type that glides on your face so smoothly. It really drags your skin. So eh, this may cost you wrinkles, probably. And this thing is kind of pricey. This is about $15. It says blurring stick. It did not really blur my pores, nor did it make me less oily. I don't know. But I'm going to keep using it um, to see. Maybe I'm just doing it wrong. I don't know. Next one in here are these Essence Mascara. So it comes with four. And this is such a great, great gift. So if you do have, you know, teenagers or friends that like makeup, these would be good to put in a um, stocking as a stocking stuffer. So it comes with four, and this is only fourteen ninety nine. And let me tell you guys, I've gone through 
about three tubes of this mascara mascara already specifically the red one all i can say is these are great mascaras they really do look good on your eyelashes and i do recommend you picking this up if you do have this in your your ulta store so yeah this is such a great set i really wanted to get a backup of my essence mascara but then i saw this i was like this is a way better deal last few things in here so this one i didn't really get at ulta but i got this at target this is the nivea men post shave balm i remember this being so popular back in the day and um i've tried it for the first time a week ago it didn't really wow me it's okay Smells really good though. I wish I could use this as my all over the body lotion. It smells amazing. But as for makeup, I don't think it does anything. <laughs> I don't get the hype to be honest. Then the last thing in this Ulta haul is the, the Body Shop gift set. Mary Treats Body Butter Trio. And this is for... $15 like you guys I've smelled the mango and it smells amazing and it looks like that it smells so good yes. I love this I'm definitely keeping the mango oh this smells really good too it smells really really good too I think my boyfriend will like this almond and honey the last ones in this haul are not are actually not from Ulta. Um, I got two things from Sephora. You did watch my Sephora haul last time. I did mention that I really wanted the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. And I found it. It's in the shade Medium. I've already tried this. And holy... It's, it's beautiful. Like, it's worth the money. When they say airbrush... It's airbrush, okay? It's airbrush and it does lock your makeup in place and it's amazing. However, this is just so expensive and I took advantage of my 20% off and got it and I'm happy that I did because it was worth it. Like, this is so, so good. So, you guys, if you have large pores, you have textures on your face get this powder because it does really help with those pores like i'm just saying it's just expensive though <laughs> that's the thing but it works the next is the hourglass ambient lighting blush quad ghost this one is so pricey like even with my 20 percent was so pricey so the packaging it's dirty because i've already used it but the packaging looks like this it is um, a reflective packaging and plastic on the bottom to be honest I'm not a big fan of the component because the price is so freaking high and for it to come in a component like so I think it's ridiculous <laughs> it should just should have been just this reflective all the way around in my opinion that would have been better but so the products look like this So this is my very first um, Hourglass face palette and I'm not very impressed to be honest with you. I would skip this if you are shopping this weekend because it, this is just not worth it. <laughs> like it's cute as a blush topper because it gives you that sheen. I don't know if you can see that. It gives you that sheen. So it's really pretty. It makes you look very glowy and everything but i mean for the price i don't i just don't think it's worth it <laughs> i just go to ulta and get a blush palette from makeup revolution they are great quality and they're not this price <laughs> i would not recommend you picking this up it's just a waste of money it's pretty it's beautiful it's hourglass i think for the most part people are just buying for the brand for the name but honestly as a first time user of their face palette I think it's not that it didn't really wow me if you do go shopping 
um, and get your discount at Sephora. Let's go get the um, Tarte Holiday Set Face Blush or Face Palette, the Nine Ways to Shine or something. <sighs> Anyways, that concludes my Ulta haul. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did enjoy, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment in the comment section below what kind of videos you want me to, to do next. Or what was your favorite item in this haul? My favorite one was definitely, I know this is not an Ulta one, but my favorite was definitely the Charlotte Tilbury. I really love it. Oh, actually, I have a favorite one from my Ulta haul. And this one. This is the one thing that I would probably recommend you picking up at Ulta. These are so good. Like, guys, you, you just need to go get it. Like, it's only 15 bucks. It's great. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Mwah.